doesn't take an expert to know that working in a yard or warehouse can pose a risk or serious injury or even death. Steve, you're the supply chain director. How important is safety in the running of the distribution network? Well, safety is of paramount importance to us. We're a people business and it's just a basic responsibility for us to look after our people, especially in distribution. Who leads the health and safety agenda within the supply chain? Well, clearly, myself as the supply chain director will play a huge role and have played a huge role, as well as my senior team. But it's also important that health and safety is everybody's responsibility and we all take our part in making sure that the health and safety environment is there for everybody. How can everyone in the supply chain contribute to improving health and safety within the business? There are two main ways. Firstly, everyone should be aware of their best practice health and safety. But also, if they do see any potential health and safety issues, that they feed that back through the health and safety committee or through the management teams. OK, thanks, Steve. Now let's talk to the guys who are accountable for managing safety within the DC. Pete, you're the general manager for the Northern Region Distribution Centre. How important is health and safety within the DC? It's important to cross the DC that uh, health and safety is promoted within our team. Uh, like any other work within the DC, we want all the staff to be involved promoting health and safety. And by doing that, we will achieve our aim to be a safety conscious distribution centre. Great, thanks. Now, Tony, you're the general manager for the Southern Region DC. What are the benefits of managing health and safety within the DC? The benefits to us as a business and to our staff are many and varied. Uh, providing a safe working environment helps our staff to carry out their duties in a safe way. And the benefits to us as a business are we have a safe, happy and healthy workforce. Great. Pete, why is it important to get the engagement and the involvement of employees within the DC? Well, health and safety is everybody's responsibility. Uh, gone is the old adage of management responsibility only. If we can get our staff involved, good leadership from myself and my managers, my team leaders, our staff on in the warehouse, promoting safety, looking and making sure we're doing it right, then that gets a, a safe working environment for everybody within the DC. That's great, thanks very much. Given the amount of traffic in the warehouse, people and vehicles, which I think we'd all agree isn't an ideal combination, it's essential that you know what's going on around you at all times. And make sure you and any of your visitors are wearing one of these high-vis jackets. Although as a pedestrian you might have the right of way, you must stay within the marked pedestrian walkways in the warehouse and the yard. Jaywalking can result in a very nasty injury, or worse. One of these forklifts weighs over a tonne. Step out in front of one and, well, need I say more? To avoid collision between forklifts and between forklifts and pickers, all drivers must obey the two-bay rule. The rule is there for your safety and for your colleagues working around you. Sonia, you're the Health and Safety Advisor for the Southern Region DC. Now, can you tell us what the two-bay rule exactly is and how does it work? Well, the two-bay rule was put in place for FLTs, which is our forklift trucks, uh, replenishing stock within the racking. Uh, it's been worked out safely that should anything fall from height, mm -hmm. two clear bays of the racking is a safe enough zone should anything fall. So we've got two clear bays here for uh, motive and two clear bays here for any pedestrians. Whatever your job in the warehouse or yard, you must make sure any tools or equipment you use 
are one in good order, two fit for purpose and three used in line with the safe system of work. Detopping can be dangerous without the right protection. So, if you want to keep all parts of your body intact, make sure you use company-issued knives and only when wearing a cut-resistant glove or gauntlet. If you don't stick to these rules, disciplinary action will be taken against you. It's for your own benefit. Now, Dave, yes. how do you make sure that you don't cut yourself when you're opening the box and that you don't damage the contents inside? Well, first of all, you make sure the knife is um, sharp mm -hmm. and that you're wearing protective gloves and gauntlets and um, you cut away from your body, like so. Open your body, job done. Great. And are they special knives? Yes, they're company issued and uh, they're retractable safety knives, which are quite easily open. Great. And the blade on them, what happens when that needs changing? Well, when, it's, when it becomes blunt, you have a safety box here. Mm -hmm. You take the, take the blade out of the knife and dispose of it into the unit. Go to your team leader and he'll issue you with another blade. Great. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. It goes without saying that working in or around the lorry bays poses potential risks. So it's important to take care when working in or near the bays, especially around the scissor lift, which is used to load the mega deck trailers. Only operators trained and supervised by competent personnel from the site are allowed to use this lift, and they must always work in pairs. Accidents around the base tend to happen when safety rules have been ignored, so be aware and fully up to speed on all the safety notices and instructions.